Imagine if one day you could stop hair loss, not with daily pills, not with surgery, but with a few simple injections. Sounds futuristic, right? I'm Dr. Ko, a hair transplant surgeon here in Korea. Every day, I meet patients who ask, is there anything new, something beyond medication or surgery? Well, a new study from Spain might be the closest thing we've seen to a real breakthrough. And it starts with fat cells. Let's break it down. Researchers at San Carlos Clinical Hospital injected human fat-derived stem cells, called adipose-derived stem cells, or ASCs, into the scalps of mice with genetic hair loss. They also added ATP, that's the molecule your cells use for energy. And the result? Regrowth, serious regrowth. Male mice with low-dose stem cells plus ATP saw full hair regrowth in three weeks. Female mice responded best to a medium dose. High doses? Surprisingly, less effective. But here's what's fascinating. The dose mattered. Too little or too much didn't work. The sweet spot was different for male and female mice. So, does this mean you can ditch your finasteride or throw away the minoxidil? Not quite. Before we all get too excited, remember, mouse skin is thin, much thinner than human scalp and their hair cycle is faster too. So while 100% regrowth sounds amazing, translating that to human heads is a whole different ball game. Still, 100% regrowth in male mice and up to 90% in females. That's no small achievement. The team is now preparing clinical trials, targeting men and women ages 18 to 50 with moderate androgenetic alopecia. If everything goes smoothly, the most optimistic timeline for this treatment to hit the market, about 5 years. That said, this approach is different. It's not just stimulating hair, it's potentially regenerating follicles, safely and without long-term medication. We're talking about the possibility of long-lasting hair regrowth, without daily sprays, pills, or surgeries. Right now, this is still research. But for patients with genetic hair loss, it represents hope. Not hype, but hope backed by science. I'll keep following this, and if clinical trials begin, you'll hear it here first. So, subscribe for science-based updates on hair loss breakthroughs.